thank you for joining in on our devotion, and we ask that you continue to pray with us and praise with us. You're welcome.
church say amen. What a blessing is to be back in the house of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for the privilege and the opportunity just to be here. Everybody couldn't be here this morning, amen? But just to be here to share um, in the word of God, the songs of Zion. What a blessing to this choir, to this music ministry. We thank God for you and for all of you that are here with us and for those of you that are streaming by faith, that are streaming online. God bless you to the Church of Pilgrim Journey. Um, we're just glad to be here this morning. And so, uh, God has been really, really good. He's been really, really kind. Amen. And so it's a blessing just to be here. Amen. Amen. Ah, wow. Let's, uh, let's jump right into the word. Amen. Let me say this before we get there. Um, we are working hard uh, to get back in church. We're working hard. Uh, we're doing what we want to do, the right things to get back in and to, to come back in at the right time when God says so and to do what is best for the people at Pilgrim Journey. But I want to suggest to you that you start getting your minds and hearts to pray so that we can get ready to come back where we're going to be having discussions. Are you God? Yes. Amen. 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 Anyway, I got coach. You trying to add on a little bit? Okay. Anyway, so um, we're going to be preparing to, to get back in. We're, we're, we're going to be talking. We're going to be looking at the numbers. We're going to be looking at how things are going. We're looking at people uh, getting their shots and immunizations and, and vaccinations. And so we'll be looking at a lot of things. And then more than that, we're going to be talking to God to see what God has to say about us getting back in. Amen? You know, Scripture takes on new and different meaning depending on what you're going through. Amen? And right now, I tell you one Scripture that, that, that's going to take on a whole new meaning. Um, Psalm 122. It says, I was glad <laughs> when they said unto me, let us, come on now, when, when, I, I know there's going to be some folks that are glad when they're told it's time to come back to the house of God. Amen. Listen, I got people that don't even go to church asking me when the church is going back up. So God is going to do a wonderful thing. God is going to do a powerful thing. God is going to do a mighty thing here, especially at the Pilgrim Journey Baptist Church. When the time comes, amen? But you need to start getting prepared, your hearts, your minds, so that we can come back and be ready to see what God is going to do here at the Pilgrim Journey Baptist Church, amen? Uh, there was a word from God, one of that, um, it's one of my favorite texts. I, I love to preach it, and right now it resonates a lot about what's going on. And that, that word is found in Acts chapter 26, beginning at verse 1. Acts chapter 26, beginning at verse 1. And while you guys are going there, I just want to say that on last Sunday, um, we, we did almost 300 vaccinations here at the church. Almost 300 vaccinations were done here at the church. I want to encourage you, if you've not gotten your vaccination, I want to encourage you to get your vaccination. Amen, Deacon Davis? Amen. I want to encourage you. Amen. Deacon Davis said, well, Pastor, what if you get the vaccination and your arm fall off? I'd rather be alive with one arm than dead with two. Amen? Yes. And so I'm encouraging you to get your vaccination so that we can do our part to get back in. This, this, this word right here, uh, just a powerful word for, for us to get this one. And I promise you, if you get this word down in your spirits, it'll be a blessing. Acts chapter 26. 
beginning there in verse 1. Just stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for yourself. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and answered him. This is what Paul said, y'all. Don't shout. Wait till I preach it. Paul said, I think myself happy. Let me reach Paul, Paul, Paul. This is what Paul said. Paul, 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 Paul says, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I'm going to answer for myself this day before they touch all things. Well, I am accused. I think myself happy. You may be seated. I, Paul, 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 the tent maker from Tarsus, Paul says, I think myself happy. I love this text because this text helps me to personally live beyond expectation. Because when I read this text and I live this text, it lets me know something. Whatever my circumstance and situation, I can think myself happy. It, 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 it is written that as a man thinketh, so is he. But, but I must admit that as of late, it's been hard to think myself happy with all this transpired. Now, now, I'm not saying I haven't been able to think myself happy, but it's been hard. I love that old school song by Bobby McFerrin. He says, don't worry, be happy, be anxious, for nothing. Uh, and, 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 and one of the things that, that makes it so hard to think myself happy is when you see others so sad. When, you, know, you know what the devil did with these masks? He took away our smiles. So you, you can't even smile at each other. Smile! You can't smile at each other. The devil, the master stuff, took away our smiles. And, and when you see so many others sad, it becomes hard to think yourself happy when you see so much going on all around you. So much turmoil, strife, and strain. So much unnecessary pain. People being put to the test. We got so much social unrest when our own government seems to be working against us and global warming is real. Cat Williams said there's no winter no more. And when it comes, we, we, we're going through so much. Stimulus checks that don't stimulate because they don't show up. But they tell us they approve $1.9 trillion. They found a trillion dollars. And ain't anybody got their check yet? No. Hmm? No, you ain't gonna get it. Especially if the post office. <laughs> no. Okay, my son's talking. Folks are suffering. And so how, with all that going on, I'm trying to think myself happy. How, how can I think myself happy when we can't even come to the house of God? I had to preach so many Sundays to myself. Not an amen in the house, just me. And Brother Booker waving his hand. But something you better learn is you better learn how to speak over yourself. You better learn how to talk to you. You better learn how to talk to yourself. And my God, you better learn how to shout all by yourself. And listen, uh, one of the biggest challenges in life is keeping a positive attitude in spite of the disappointment that you're facing. And the real test is how well can you hold on to your faith uh, in the Lord in the middle of your trials and tribulations? I mean, it's easy to think yourself sad. 
You, 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 it don't take no, you can think yourself sad. It hurt, you know other folks like that? Always sad, always down, never smile, always a frown, whatever you see them. You want to go the other way because all they want to do is talk about how bad things are and how bad it's going to get. And here you are trying to think yourself happy and they trying to think you sad. But you trying to think yourself happy with all this going on. And for me, watch this, I'm going to help y'all right now, get this. It's not what I think about myself that makes me happy. It's about what I think about my God. All right. Ooh, that was that was caviar on a cracker. Right. When I think of His goodness and all that He's done for me, when I look back. Whatever you think within yourself about your circumstances and, and what you speak is most likely what's going to happen. Be careful what you speak over your children. You're just like your no good daddy. You ain't going to be nothing. Then when they turn out to be nothing, you wonder why. And they got to remind you, you told me that this is what I would be. Watch the words you speak. Watch what perceive guard your tongue with all due diligence, y'all. See, see, listen, whatever you think within yourself, whatever you speak, did y'all know that power, there's power in words? Ooh. See, 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 when you know that you know that you know that you know that it had not been for the Lord who was on your side. So, so, so that's why I speak peace, joy, love, prosperity, not just over my life, but over my family, over the Pilgrim Journey family. I speak life. I speak hope for you. See, listen, thinking is in your mind. What you think, self-esteem, is what you think about you. How in the world can you have low self-esteem when it's what you think about you? And if you don't think much of you, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you, you, you can't be out single and meet a man to my, I just need a man to complete me. I just need a man to come in my life. If I had a man, if I, no! Men can sense neatness. And they will abuse you by your own neediness. If you got a lie, lie. I'm doing fine on cloud nine. I got here without you, and I can make it without you. I got Jesus. The last thing a man want to hear in a club when he walk up to you is you say, "I got Jesus," and that's all I need. Me and Jesus. He'll get on down the road. It's what you think of you. Thinking is in my mind. It's got nothing to do with what's going on around me. It's in my mind. It's got everything to do with me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. You didn't give it to me. And you can't take it away. I got joy when I get up. I got joy on the way to church. I got joy when I get to church. I don't care what you tell me when I get to go. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I got unspeakable joy. And first lady Jane, it's 
all day, every day. I got joy. Sometimes she say, won't you just sit out somewhere? <laughs> Be still. Joy will make you jump. Run around. I got joy. And it's not because of my circumstances. My circumstances aren't always the best. I got a congregation of close to a thousand, but only 30 are here. That's my circumstances. But I still got joy. God is still good. <sighs> Paul says, this is what Paul says. Paul says, he said, don't get me wrong. It's not always perfect. It's not always good, but no matter what my current situation, no matter what my current condition, I'm going to think myself happy. In other words, you better learn how to speak over yourself. You better learn how to speak over your situation, speak over your life. See, in order for me to think myself happy, all I gotta do is think about my story. See, <laughs> if some of y'all, thought about your story, if you thought of, listen, all you gotta do is think about where you used to be and, and, and where you are now and, and then look back at your life and see how God bought you, how God kept you. Many of us shouldn't even be here right now, but we're here today. And when you think about your own story, where you are and how God bought you, you can't help but throw your hands up and say, God, I thank you. You can tell God, thank you. Anybody here? You got a story? Mm -hmm. There's some folks, if they knew your story, they scoot over. They wouldn't even talk to you no more if they knew your story, all the things that I've been through. See, you don't, you don't know my story. You don't know all the things that I've been through. You can't feel what I feel. You can't know what it took me just to get it. That's why I worship him, because if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, but I'm here today because God kept me. And some of y'all, you only see folk glory, but you don't know their story. See, let, let me help y'all out. This is going to be real good. Your real shout ain't about the car you drive. Your real shout ain't about your money in the bank. But your real shout comes when you didn't have a car, when you was riding a bus. That's your real shout right there. Your real shout is when you live in an apartment, but now you live in a house. That's your real shout right there. Anybody here beside me ain't got no money, but you could shout anyhow. I shout some, some of my shouts are little shouts. I ain't got it yet, but I know it's coming. But I don't wait till I get it. But I shout right now. That's, that's, that's your real shout. How God kept you, how God sustained you. Some, somebody, you, you can look at your story. And if you look at your story, you'll see how the devil tried to take you out. But you survived. In your story are times you did the wrong thing, made bad decisions. See, in church on Sunday, ain't nobody made bad decisions. We all perfect Christians, ain't we? But when you look at your own story by yourself and you see the bad decisions you made and you realize it was nothing but God's grace and mercy that stepped in, you went places you shouldn't have gone, you did things you shouldn't have done, but you're here today, you're alive today because God kept you. And somebody's sitting here looking at me right now, you ain't look like the hell you've been through. All right. <laughs> you've gone through the fire and don't even smell like smoke. And th that's why, listen, you can't get all puffed up in pride in your glory days, acting like you ain't never done nothing before. You, you Jesus' first cousin and them. You, you was at the first, the last supper and the first supper. Yeah, stop, stop acting like that. You're old enough now 
where you should be able to speak for yourself about yourself. Can't nobody tell about you like what you know about you. You listen, let me tell you something. Y'all ain't got to tell me about me. I know everything about me. I know the stuff. You ain't got to tell me I, I was there. You ain't got to tell I know where I went. You ain't got to tell You can't tell me nothing about me that I don't know. We love to tell other folks' story, don't we? Pastor, I don't know. Uh, I think she was at the strip club. How do you know? We, we love to tell all other folk, tell other folk story. But Paul, Agrippa tells Paul, you're old enough to speak for yourself. Too many folk don't know how to speak for themselves. Learn how to tell your story and not other folk's story. And you ought not want to hide where the Lord has bought you from. You ought not want to act like you don't remember the stuff that the Lord has done to you, the things that God bought you through. But every now and then, God will put you in a predicament where you got to tell your story. When you see that young 16-year-old girl pregnant, and you know you had a child at 16. You ought to go to that girl and say, girl, let me tell you, you can make it. You know how I know you can make it? Because I made it. I had a child at 16. I can tell you how to get through this thing. Sometimes your story can help other folks get through the trials and tribulation they going through. But you so busy, you 51 with a child 41 trying to act like you ain't never done nothing. Y'all tell them y'all take You can't shout if you can't count. I mean, count the shouts. <laughs> you, you, you ought to be able to tell your story. And then you ought to be proud about where God bought you from. The addictions he's bought you through. The cancer he bought you through. The bad marriage. Still got knots on your head. You walk into the door. No. Those are knots. Those are stories. Bill gave me this one. And Jim gave me that one. But I'm here today to tell you the Lord is good because he delivered me. Not delivered me, but he kept me. See, see this, 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 this sermon right here? It ain't for folk who ain't never done nothing. This is for folk that have shown up, gone through the fire, been through the flood. You, you don't want them to shout, but sometimes I shout about the stuff y'all don't know. That's a shout right there. Because if God was to pull the cover off of some of us, oh God, tell your neighbor, you must don't know about me. But I'm not ashamed to tell a story. When, 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 when I see how good God has been to me, when I know how bad I've been to God, <laughs> some, some of y'all, you didn't do it, but you thought it. And what the Bible say? As a man thinketh, you thought it, you did it. You don't suffer the same consequences as the one that did do it, but you thought it. You did it. This, this, is for folk, this is for folk with some unwritten pages, some untold stories. Y'all see that show, what it's called? Um, where they go back and tell the stories of the, uh, the, the singers and stuff? Unsung, yeah, unsung. Unsung, I promise you got the same theme in every, un, I don't care who the artist is. They started a church. They went and started singing blues or hip hop or rock. They got on drugs. They fall. It's always up and down. Up. And the stories are all the same. And if I was to do an unsung story on some of y'all, <laughs> I wouldn't even let y'all sing up here nobody. Like, Come on down, baby. We do some unsung stories up in the house today about some of the things that we've gone through, some of the things we've done. Whoo! I thank God. If y'all ever see this is the unsung story of Pastor Simpson, turn it off! Turn it off! I don't want to see that. I don't know. You don't want to see your own unsung story. Ah, God. 
Look at that. I'm going to close right here. I'm going to close right here. Watch this. This, this is why so many, this is why scriptures, like I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house. This is why these scriptures mean so much and they're so powerful, God. Watch this. Watch this scripture right here. Uh, 13 and 14 says, And midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And watch this, y'all. And when we were all fallen to the earth, a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks, my Lord and my God. Listen, watch the text. We'll preach a whole other sermon here. It says, and when we fell, I heard. Did y'all see that? Let me help again. And when we fell, I heard. I'm going to go slow. And when we fell, I heard. The text says, we saw light. We all fell. But I heard. When we fell, I heard. We saw the light. We all fell. But I heard. Some people fall, but don't hear. <laughs> Y'all missing it right there. Listen, everybody who was there didn't experience the same thing. You can be somewhere, but never have an experience. You can be in the same place and not experience the same thing. They all got knocked out. But I heard I was the only one who got an explanation of the revelation. You ever had some friends that fall, but they don't hear the lesson God is trying to teach them? When they down, then there's some folk, ah, oh God, who went through what you went through, but God didn't speak to them. I'm preaching, but y'all looking at me. Uh, they went through what you went through, but God didn't speak to them. Like God spoke to you. See, 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 that's why, that's why you can't tell me what God has told me. Because last I checked, God will speak directly to me. See, some of y'all come to church, and I've seen it. You fall out, but you don't hear nothing. You jump, run, and shout. But you don't get no message from God. Y'all don't see folk like that? Yep. They running and jumping and shouting. But they ain't got no message from God. God hadn't spoke to them. But yet they running around as if they got explanation for the revelation. You, 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 you come. See, sometimes when I be preaching, you think the word for everybody but you. Some folk come to church, none here but at your cousin church, they come to church so worried about what everybody else got on, what everybody else did last night, that they miss out on a word that God has for their raggedy life. Because oh, you focus on foolishness and not the father. And, and that's why you, you can be sitting next to somebody and miss the anointing of God. Don't come for the event. Come for the encounter. Come to experience an encounter God for yourself. That's why, listen, I can preach the same word one person get it and the other two don't. 
Because one is looking at me and the other is listening to me. Y'all missed it. <laughs> and, and, and they might not be hearing what you hearing because they not going through what you going through. There's some words that are designed and cultivated just for you because that word was designed for what you going through. And they may be sitting there listening to the same word, but they not going through what you going through. So now, while I'm preaching, one is rocking and crying and waving holy hands because the revelation is an explanation for what they going through. And some may not get the word that I'm speaking now because they're not going through it. But they may shout in two weeks about the same word I spoke today because now they can... No, 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 I'm, I'm not doing my best, y'all. Choir, listen. Choir can sing a song. One person jump up, throw their Bible, and start crying and weeping. They heard. Because they've had an encounter with the Almighty. Every now and then, God will speak a word just for you. You can't explain it, but there's something within. And you could be riding home from church with the same person you came to church with. And you could say, man, that was some kind of word. And they'll say, I didn't really get it today. Because it wasn't for you at that particular time. See, everybody felt something, but everybody didn't hear something. And faith comes by what? Hearing. And let me tell you something. Feelings won't help you with the trials of life. You can run, jump, shout, but that ain't gonna help you with the trials of life. It's hearing the word and letting it resonate in your spirit is what's gonna help you when your trials come. Sometimes I have to speak word before church even start. I got anxiety, Pastor. No, you don't. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing but all things in prayer and supplication. You ain't got anxiety. I declare and decree you ain't got anxiety. You ain't scared. That's a word for somebody. Yes, Lord. Tell me you got anxiety. You ain't got anxiety. At least not today. You can have it when you leave. <laughs> but you ain't going to have it up in here. Amen. Not in the house of God. How you going to be scared? In the house of God. I listen, I might get scared outside, but in the house, I had a man call me one Sunday. His wife had called me. She said, Pastor, my husband is beating me. He's he's hurting me. He's harming me. I said, listen, I said, you have to remove yourself from that situation. You got to get out of that situation. You can't stay in a situation that's dangerous for you. But guess what? She was guess what she told her husband. She said, Pastor said, I should leave you. So then he called, and, he, and I was in my office, and he said, Pastor, you told my wife to leave me. I couldn't even explain to him what I've been told. And you told her to leave me, and now I'm on my way up there to handle you. I said, and I'll be right here waiting, because I can't fear in the house of God. And then I'm from the streets, so two things I know. <laughs> Two things I know. Robbers don't call to tell you when they're about to rob you. And if you come in to whoop somebody, you don't tell them you're on the way. Huh? I'm just getting my clips ready in the back. <laughs> if you come, come on. I'll be right here. Charles, you gonna be here too? Yeah, I'll be right here. We'll be waiting. And sometimes 
you can't listen to everything you hear. I know some folks, the doctor told them, you got three days, and they still here. Yeah, still here. You, you, you better learn how to speak over yourself. You better learn how to guard your tongue. You better learn how to guard your spirit. Everybody felt something. Everybody didn't hear the same thing. Faith come by hearing. Feelings won't help you in the trials of life. You better learn. You better get a word. And if the word ain't for you today, just put it in your heart because there's coming a time when you gonna need that word, y'all. Can I tell y'all my story? Can I tell y'all my story? I don't want y'all to not come to church no more. Because I tell y'all my story. And you ain't got to go out and tell everybody my story. Tell your story. Can I tell my story? This is my story. This is my song. Praising the Savior all the day long. In his blood. This is my story. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the distant shore, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea came down and rescued me. And just in case, if anyone should ever write my life story, tell them Jesus is the best thing to ever. of pain and glory. Jesus huh, is the best thing Amen. that ever ever happened to me. I wish I had some folk that could testify Amen. that Jesus is <laughs> the best See, see, you, you don't know people's story. And I, I had to learn, you know, sometimes they get mad, you get mad, you pastor, that lady don't speak. You don't know what that lady going through. Pastor, she don't never want to hug or shake my hand. She knew COVID was coming. You don't know what folk have gone through that got them to where they are and, and like they are. So I, I had to learn, oh God, that people are how they are because of what they've gone through. And y'all know how happy I am. Y'all know how much joy I got. But when I run up to you and, hey, how you doing? And you don't speak back, it don't bother me. I just go to the next person. You, you, you can't take this away from me. And, and that's why I can't get down on people for being the way they are. Y'all, y'all call them crazy. But what you don't know is early in life they were diagnosed with bipolar syndrome. You, you call them homosexuals. But you don't know that the uncle abused them as a child. You can't figure out why they can't get along with nobody. But what you don't know is they don't get along with their own family. You call them suicidal. <laughs> but you don't know that story. Truth be told, if you've gone through what they went through, you have slipped your throat a long time ago. We don't know people's <coughs> story. We don't know what people have gone through. Be kind to everybody. Amen. Speak well to everybody. Because they came to church for four years. They never spoke to me. Never spoke. I kept speaking for you every time. I said, hey! And she just looked at me.
Hey, just don't speak. You don't, you don't know people's story. You don't know what they went through. But for the grace of God, you are who you are because of what you've gone through. What you've gone through should have made you wiser. Should have made you stronger. Should have made you better than you ever were. Tell your own story. Speak over yourself. Speak over your children. You will be. You are that. You're a queen. You're a king. You're a child of God. Speak it. If you believe it and receive it, then you can conceive it. Man. But if you don't believe it, if you don't think you can do it, you probably can't. You gotta believe. You gotta trust. I've I, I got. I, I, I've got so much simply because I believe. Simply because I believe it. I spoke it. It's a, the mind is a powerful thing, y'all. Who? Speak it. There's power. The Bible says this. It says the power of life and death is where? What you speak. And I listen. <laughs> Y'all gonna see me speaking about me. Ooh, I've been home all in the mirror. I look good on my mother. On my hood. I look good. Now wipe me down. You gotta tell me, you ain't gotta tell me I'm sharp. Wipe me down, wipe me down. Oh um, oh. Um. <laughs> That's what I believe about me. And I don't care what you think. He yeah. think he all that. No, I don't. You yeah. do. <laughs> you better learn how to speak over yourself. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I believe it. And by faith, I can achieve it. That's the message for the morning. May God bless you. May God keep you. We're going home. Why can we just get one more song? Because we're starting to prepare now to get back in church. So let's let's get one more song. And listen, as the choir is singing, when they get to the middle of the song, you may be dismissed. May God bless you and may God keep you. Listen, for those of you that are at home online, please. Keep with your online giving. Please keep blessing the church. We're coming back soon. Coach is going to come to the front while the song is going on. If you have tithes and offers, you can bring them to the back door on the way out. Coach said he's going to catch you in the back door on the way out. Amen. Quiet. What we got? Come on, sing the song.